Assalamu alaikum guys. I hope you all will be fine. Today in this practical video, I will guide you for basic informations about steel structural design for floor beam. So watch this video from start to finish to know about basic informations about steel reinforcement. Let's get start guys. You can see guys, this is floor beam construction. This is RCC column. You can see guys, its development length for this floor beam which make good bond between steel and concrete. Guys, you can see here, the size of this floor beam is, depth is 16 inches, width is 12 inches with concrete cover. Now guys, we have three steel rods at the bottom, dia is 16 millimeter, and tension zone and two steel rods we have in compression zone or you can say an upper portion of this beam which dia is also 16 millimeter next guys you can see stirrups dia is 8 millimeter and spacing is 9 inches if you see hooks are bent on 90 degrees so this is one of the big mistake it should be provided on 135 degree and the hook's length should not be less than 3 inches. Guys, you can see the spacing is 9 inches center to center between two stirrups. Guys, you can see this is at the middle. But to the distance of L by 4, after this, guys, you can see the spacing is closely compared to its mid, which is about 6 inches. Guys, you can see. Now, guys, to the distance of L by 4, this is one column. And here, that is the other column. Now, the span between these two columns is 22 feet. Or the distance between these two columns is 22 feet. So, 22 feet should be divided by 4. That's called L by 4. So, so, so to the distance of L by 4 or you can say to the distance of 5 feet, 5.5 feet. Here guys you can see we have two extra steel rods. As you can see guys we have two extra steel rods where we have negative bending moment or hogging. To resist negative bending moment we will provide extra steel rods. Guys you can see in the beam we have normally two steel rods at the top. But you can see we have two extra steel rods or the place of this extra steel rods you can also provide crank bar or bent up bar guys you can see the spacing is here six inches the first stirrup should be placed with near width column with minimum two inches as you can see dia is 16 millimeter for this floor beam Now guys, if you see at the middle, after L by 4, we don't have extra steel rods because here we don't have negative bending moment. So therefore, you can see guys, if you see main bars or distribution bars, they are providing a kind of hooks inside this floor beam. Guys, you can see from this column. You can see to the distance of L by 4, we have the same two extra steel rods, which length is 5.5 feet. That's why, because the total length is 22 feet. So L by 4 means 22 feet divided by 4. Guys, you can see the main bars are inside this column. It should be provided to make a good bond between beam and slave. Guys, you can see the steel fixer is provide hooks inside this floor beam it should not be provided on the top of this but inside this beam you can bend the main bars or distribution bars as you can see the same design you can see for this construction especially floor beam the span is 22 feet depth of the beam is 16 inches width is 12 inches three steel rods at the bottom two at the top 
to our extra steel rods to the distance of L by 4 hooks length uh, hooks dia is uh, stirrups dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 9 inches to the distance of L by 4 spacing is 6 inches from 4 to 6 inches guys you can see clearly only you can see uh, you can see one mistake which is about bent of hooks or you can say uh, bent uh, hooks are bent on 90 degrees so it should be provided on 135 degree from the reference of is and aci code guys you can see clearly next guys you can see if you see the beam the beam has development length which length is about minimum 12 inches guys you can see this is these are steel rods which are bent to the downward side and the downward side steel rods should be come to the upward side but they didn't provide only the upper portion steel rods they are they made its hooks are a sorry development length which make a good bond between steel and concrete guys you can see these are development length so this is very important to provide for floor beam especially at the end to make a good bond between steel and concrete hope this short video can help you about basic informations of steel structural design for floor beam and slab thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye